What is going on you guys, this is Tekken Shi coming at you with episode number 3 on how to stream using OBS Studios. Now if you haven't seen episode 2 or 1, it's going to be down in the description below. I created a playlist for that or you could click on the card to make it easier for you guys. And we covered a lot of stuff on how to set up the settings and how to add the gameplay, the face cam, the audio, all of that. And today this episode is going to be how to sync your gameplay with your face cam, the audio portion of it because I see a lot of YouTubers having problems problems with that and it's a big thing especially when you're streaming or recording you don't want it to ruin the gameplay basically so before we get into obs studios what i want to show you guys is before and after basically before everything is all synced up to after and see how much it ruins the gameplay for you guys and keep in mind though that the after it's not going to be right on the dot it's going to be pretty like a little bit off but you're not going to get it exactly to your liking unless you put like so much time into it and I like to go from basically as close as possible as as I can and even with like FPS games everything's fast paced so you don't really notice it so it's not that big of a deal if you don't get it exactly on it it's not a problem whatsoever and keep in mind though if that you have an Elgato HD 60 Pro or an HD 60 S like any of those that have zero latency then most likely you don't have to do this because the gameplay is what's delayed and not the face cam you have to make the face cam delayed in order to be in sync with the gameplay so without further ado here's the before and after part all right you guys so we are here on black ops 3 i'm using the mr6 pistol and this is a semi-automatic so it's the best way to show you guys how it is when it's before syncing and after syncing so this is the before portion so everything is going to be in real time like when i actually shoot and when i actually make a noise but in the gameplay it's going to be delayed so watch this pop so you can see right here i'm pressing the trigger and it's in real time with the actual gameplay when i'm looking at it but when i'm recording it it's a bit delayed so ready there you go so you can see a huge delay you can see that i'm a way more ahead of the gameplay and that ruins it a lot so i basically when i react let's say for example i die by a grenade i react people won't see the actual game portion until like a couple seconds later so it really ruins the the experience of streaming and recording as well when you're watching a video so what i'm gonna show you guys is the after portion when everything is all synced up all right you guys so we're back and this is the after portion this is when i sync everything up the face cam and the audio portion to the gameplay so watch this Bop. so in real time i'm actually shooting and i'm reacting to the bullet right when i press that trigger so that's how it is in real time and now that i synced everything up the face cam and the audio portion is with the gameplay because the gameplay is what's delayed so you want to delay the face cam and the audio portion as well so watch this bop 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 so there you guys have it that is basically how it's delayed the after portion of it when you delay everything and you put it all into sync so now whenever there's like a huge explosion basically the explosion will be seen and also the reaction at the same time so nothing is ruined whatsoever it's good for streaming and of course for recording and just to let you guys know that it's not going to be 100 percent in sync with the gameplay it might be a little bit before or it might be a little bit after but overall this is like a fast paced game as well as racing and other stuff like that every game now is really fast paced so you won't really see that much of a difference all right, you guys, so now after seeing the before and after portion of syncing the audio and the face cam with the gameplay, now we are at OBS Studios. So now what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to sync your face cam and the audio portion with the gameplay. Now, most likely the gameplay is going to be what's delayed. So you want to sync the face cam and the audio portion. Now, um, what you want to do is you want to go to the face cam, which is the Logitech C920 is what I'm using. You want to right click and you want to click filters. Now I already have this enabled, but you want to click the plus and then you want to click uh, video delay async and then you want to click OK, but I already have one open. So I have this unchecked so that it doesn't look like it's delayed so that it won't annoy you guys basically. So what you want to do is this is delayed by milliseconds. So what I like to think of it is if the face cam and the audio portion is before the gameplay, you want to delay it a little bit more. If it's after, then you want to delay it a little bit less. So I like to start from 500 and then I like to work my way up there or my way down there. I like to go from 500 to 50. So I like to go by 50. So 
550 or 450 and so on like that until I get to the point where I really like it and then maybe I like to go a little bit less to make it as close as possible so what I have is I have it at 525 so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable it and you're gonna see it's gonna be off sync with my audio portion of it so after enabling this you can see that it's a lot um, more delayed basically when you could especially when you see the example of the face cam but the audio portion is before it so now what we can do is we want to click close and then we want to go to the audio portion so we could delay that as well so you can see right here this is the microphone that i have so you want to click this setting tool right here the mixer and then you want to go to your microphone and then you want to go to sync offset and you want to put the same amount that you put for the video portion of the face cam so that it can all be in sync so after doing that you want to once again let me go back so that this portion doesn't annoy you guys because it's off sync so now here we go so now that's basically how you do it so keep in mind though that the more if you're before the gameplay you want to delay it a little bit more if you're after the gameplay you want to delay it a little bit less and of course you're not going to be right on par with the gameplay you're not going to be right there unless you like work for a long period of time doing this and try to get it exactly like it now what i like to do is i like to do that and then i want to i want to go to a game i want to record and i want to do the same thing that i showed you guys before and after i want to shoot a semi-automatic pistol and i want to do the noise while i'm actually shooting and if i see that i'm more delayed then i need to put less if i see that i'm still ahead of the game i need to put more so you want to mess around with it until you get to the point that you want that you are that you like it basically so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if this was helpful to you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video once again episode one and number two is going to be down in the description below if you guys missed it as well you can click on the card right above my head hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always it's tech hd i'll catch you guys in the next video peace